Hi, thanks for joining me again. Um, today we are basically going to look at how we can derive some really useful statistical relationships, which we're actually going to use in our derivation of the least squares estimators of alpha hat and beta hat. So I've written these up on the on the sort of board already. And um, first of all, we're going to look at these two things, uh, and then we're going to look at this stuff on the right hand side. So these two things on the left hand side are quite easy to think about. So if I have the sum of xi for all points in my sample, and um, is there a way I can write that? Well. We, we don't know exactly um, something just involving the sum of xi. We know that, however, we do know that 1 over n times the sum of xi is just x bar. It's the sample mean of x. We can do that similarly for y. So 1 over n times the sum of yi from 1 to n is y bar. So both of these two things, although I don't explicitly have xi on its own, I can get it quite easily just by multiplying through by n. So they both in turn imply that the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi equals n x bar. And I know that the sum from i equals 1 to n of yi equals n y bar. So I have derived these two things on the top left of the screen quite easily just by appealing to our definitions of what the sample mean means. Uh, what the sample mean is defined as, rather. So now we want to talk about this thing uh, to sort of the, to the top left of the screen. So I'm going to start out with our thing on the left hand side. So we're trying to simplify the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar. So we can sort of expand this just as we would any parenthesis just by multiplying it out. So that's the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi yi minus xi y bar minus x bar yi plus x bar y bar and it's plus because I've got a minus times a minus and as with any summation sign because it's a linear function I can just write this out explicitly in terms of the individual terms so that's the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi times yi minus well I can take the y bar out of the sum because I it doesn't have any i index on it. So that's the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi times y bar. And again for the next term, now I can take the x bar out because the x bar doesn't have any summation index on it. So that's the sum of i equals 1 to n times yi times x bar on the, outer, on the outside of the summation sign. Then finally this last sum or this last term in our sum, has no i dependence at all. So I can actually take x bar and y bar outside here, and I'm just left with the sum of 1. So some of this stuff looks similar to the left-hand side, or the things we derived at the top left, rather. So the sum of xi, we know, is just time is n times the mean of x. The sum of yi is just n times the mean of y. So I can use this to rewrite this summation or this expression slightly simpler. So I can't change the first term, so I'll leave it as it is. The next term becomes n y bar times x bar. This again is going to be an n y bar times x bar, just keeping the same order as this time. So this is exactly, this. I've got two of these terms here now. And this final term, well, the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 is just going to be n. So it's just going to be n y bar x bar. Because it doesn't matter which order I write x bar and y bar because I'm just multiplying them. So two of these terms are going to cancel because that cancels essentially with that one. And we're left with the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi yi minus n times y bar x bar. Well, we can actually use these things which you've derived on the top left of the screen to go the other way. So we can actually write an n y bar as the sum of i equals 1 to n of y i. So that means that we can write this whole thing as the sum of i equals 1 to n 
of xi times yi minus the sum of what x bar times the sum of yi from i equals 1 to n. And because I've got the same summation sign in front of both of these things, I can actually contract them so I've just got one summation sign. So that's the sum of i equals 1 to n of yi times xi minus yi times x bar. And now I can write that quite a little bit more simply, a little bit more compactly, as the sum of i equals 1 to n of yi, open brackets, xi minus x bar, which is the thing which we've got in the first two sides of our expression to the top of the screen. And um, similarly, I could show this relationship. It's just um, by symmetry, it's exactly the same thing, essentially. And we're going to use these two derived expressions in our derivation of the least squares estimators. I'll see you next time.